Lakers, Cavs, December 6th. God damn, LeBron's ugly. Look at Donovan. He's like a fucking model compared to LeBron. And there's the most important person on the Lakers team. The best player by far. The best player ever since he arrived in L.A. Too bad about the injuries. Except that it was nice not to watch LeBron ride Anthony's coattails. 250 pound load is what you're looking at there. That... AD and Westbrook have to carry on a nightly basis. The entire Laker team has to carry on a nightly basis. And that is a big, heavy bag of a shit. You know, it's really interesting looking at this Lakers lineup with Schroeder, Westbrook, Beverly, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, that we've all been told that this is a garbage basketball team when it's yet another super team. And I mean all five. Like, Schroeder's good. Maybe you guys don't respect that guy, but he's slippery. He can get to the rim with the best of them. Anthony Davis with the dime. Anthony Davis is, well, you saw you saw what he did in Milwaukee. I mean, that's frightening. That's a poster on LeBron James. That was a posterization of LeBron James that we will never hear about. I mean, if you're going to call that shit that LeBron did with Kevin Love, where LeBron, where Kevin Love was like walking out of the frame and everybody made a big deal out of it, I mean, he didn't get challenged. You know, LeBron didn't, Kevin Love didn't challenge LeBron James, so don't call it a posterization. LeBron actually flew at Jared Allen there and Allen was like, fuck you, old man, and just slammed that shit home. But you won't hear about it, at least not in terms of it being a posterization. Wow. <sighs> when the Nets got rid of Jarrett Allen, I was like, oh, okay, that's not a good move. And things have not been so good for the Nets ever since. Not that that's the main or only reason, but it was sad. It was sad. Good for Cleveland. And there it is. Tell me how that's not a contested shot. I mean, that's a poster. He d he didn't land with his nuts in LeBron's mouth, but that was a contested dunk. Uh, more than Kevin Loves was. As long as we're doing uh, replays this early, here's another what I call old man charity uh, dunk. Old man charity pass. Now, let's go back to the LeBron one where AD gives him a dime and the only thing LeBron has to do is get off the ground. And, you know, I'm, I'm almost tempted to give him props for getting off the ground, except that he's fucking 6'10". You know, it's kind of barely leaving the ground at that point. So, yeah, I'm not giving LeBron anything. Most of his points come off of layups and offensive fouls. Yes, offensive fouls committed by him. So, yeah, he's terrible. There's part of the super team right there, AD. Schroeder, Beverly, even Lonnie Walker Jr. I mean, Lonnie Walker Jr. is great. We didn't even have to get to Westbrook. And LeBron James is like just there to be towed around like luggage. Now look at this shooting chart. This is basically an animation of the exact opposite of watching LeBron James shoot. <laughs> Here's a shot popped right in the retreating LeBron James face hmm. great defense very inspirational and that was just an absurdly overly exaggerated behind the back pass just pass it to him correctly and maybe you'll get it in his hands to where he can shoot okay LeBron James is hyped up he's like oh fast break I might be able to do a dunk or a layup and he tries to do a dunk but instead he commits murder on Jarrett Allen, uncalled. Uh, he commits an offensive foul, at the least. It's an intentional flagrant, too, that not only wasn't called a basic foul, but was called nothing. That is someone who knows the defender is there and says, fuck you, this is what happens when people try to defend me. And you know why he got away with it? 
because the refs just let him get away with it. And they've let him get away with it his entire career, which is why that arm basically automatically swings out like that. That is his move. My God, that guy scored a lot of points with that offensive foul. The nicest thing you could possibly say here is that he unconsciously swings that right arm out. It's part of his dribbling motion when he goes in for a layup. He switches to the other hand and swings the other arm. Just analyze LeBron James's layups. This happens every time. So that's the nicest way you could put it. The other way of putting it is that he just decided to punish Jared Allen for contesting the shot because there's no contact. There's no reason to fend yourself off in that manner. Not that it's even legal to do that. It's legal for LeBron James, but that's an illegal move. You can't throw off a defender with your arm. Jesus, can you imagine LeBron getting hit like that? He wouldn't get up again. Whether he was hurt or not, he would just, like, he'd make a movie about it. Fuck me, I can't believe what he gets away with. That is an intentional foul. That is a flagrant two. Not called. Not called. I'm actually really impressed by the restraint that I see by a lot of players in the NBA who get hit by LeBron James uncalled flagrant two fouls. Because if someone hit me like that on the court on street ball, look, I might get my ass kicked because the guy's bigger and stronger and faster than me. But if someone hits me like that, my immediate reaction is going to be to get up and start swinging. Because that right there, that is some bullshit. That is some bullshit. Even if you lose the fight, you're just going to get up and fucking lose your temper. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. When LeBron James should be under review by the NBA, not only is he not, there wasn't even a foul called. Can you imagine if he made the dunk too? You know, you know what would make it more typical? Is that they would call the foul on Allen. <laughs> I'm serious. That's what usually happens. LeBron James fouls somebody with a flagrant two offensive and gets to go to the free throw line. While LeBron James would be making a mini movie rolling around on the court, Jared Allen is already up and playing again. Oh my God. I'm barely into the game and I've just been going off on rants. I, I, I don't have the fucking energy or patience to keep watching LeBron James' bullshit. He has ruined the NBA. Okay, LeBron is sitting. LA is down, 9-16. to Let's see if things change. Well, that didn't take long. 17-19. Two things happen here. LeBron stops guarding his man on the perimeter, which is what made him free to get that rebound, and then he carries. <laughs> My God, he carried the shit out of the ball. Completely uncalled, of course. So that should be a turnover, um, adding to LeBron James's already current record of leading the league in turnovers. Jesus smoked Christ. <laughs> he just made an ass of LeBron James. And I haven't even heard about it. How come the media isn't talking about these things? I have to go back and watch the entire game to see LeBron just get made a goddamn fool of. And El Clanko strikes again. There's that outlet pass. The LeBron brick is an outlet pass. And Kevin Love, Kevin Love dunked the ball, you fucking bitch. But how many goaltends is LeBron going to have in one season? He's averaging one per game. And let's listen to the announcer. Off the window. Yes, it was. Yep. Okay, so LeBron just gave the other team... Uh, two points. He's doing this all the time. Come on, man. It's your 20th year and you're supposed to be high in your basketball IQ. How, how many goddamn goaltends are you going to commit? Uh, uh, and it just wouldn't be complete without LeBron yelling in a way that would get anyone else teed up. God, they tolerate a bunch of shit from him. What the fuck is that idiot complaining? What the fuck is this? <sighs> Come on. 